Three tables are connected to make one long table for a family dinner. One table is two feet, 11 inches long. The next is three feet, seven inches long. And the last is six feet, 10 inches long. How long are the tables combined? All right, so go ahead, analyze this question, give it a shot, and then press play when you're ready. All right, so hopefully we've had a chance to really give this one a try because the answer here, I'm gonna reveal it right now, it's D, 13 feet, four inches. And here's why, because I don't care if you got it right or wrong, it's really all about understanding why. That's how we're gonna grow here and that's how we're gonna ace the ASVAB. So here's the thing, I'm gonna go straight to the question again and it states, again, how long are the tables, keyword here, combined. Combined, what does that refer to? Well, that means bringing everything together. And in this context, that means that we're adding. That's what's going on here. We are adding everything up. We're adding everything up. And so with that said, we're taking the two feet, 11 inches. We're taking the three feet, seven inches. And we're taking the six feet, 10 inches. And again, we're adding them all together. That's exactly what we're doing here. And so check it out. If we add up all the feet first and then the inches, I mean, we can do it either way, it doesn't really matter. Um, so all we gotta do is, you know, just grab your feet, you have two feet, three feet, and six feet. That makes 11 feet. And now what do your inches add up to? Well, what that will add up to is 11 plus seven is 18, plus 10 is 28. So we have 11 feet, 28 inches. Now, here's the problem with that, guys. The problem with this is that, look, 28 inches is well more than one foot. I hope we know that. Remember that one foot is equal to 12 inches. And so right now we have well more than that because the thing is if one foot is 12 inches, then two feet, that's another 12 inches. So that's 24 inches. So we actually end up having two feet in here. We got two feet in here. And what's the remainder? Well, to get to 28, that's plus four to get to 28. And so we end up having an extra four inches left over. And that's all good because we have the 11 feet from right here. So this ends up becoming 11 feet with two feet and an extra four inches. And so we're gonna combine these two right here to get us 13 feet with the four inches that we got right there. So really this question, again, the answer choice is D, but this question was really all about not just your ability to really just gauge that word problem and look at those key words, but more importantly, it's about being able to convert units. Because notice how they would not allow you to say that 11 feet, 28 inches is the answer. You have to actually say, okay, look, 28 inches, that's improper. We got to actually convert that so that we can actually talk about this in a proper way. Because if I were to say to you, oh yeah, my name's Anderson and my height is five foot, 17 inches. Well, first off, what? <laughs> right? Usually we say, you know, like five foot five or six foot two, six foot 10, six foot 11. We don't say like five foot 12, we just say six feet. And so whenever you can convert, whenever that smaller unit becomes big enough to transfer into the other unit, hey, go ahead, make sure to convert it. So with that said, I'll leave you there. Remember, we're here trying to ace the ASVAB and I got your back. So make sure that you are supporting this channel, please and thank you. Give us a like, comment and subscribe if you haven't done so already. That's how you can support us and everybody else who's trying to ace the ASVAB. Much love to you guys. I'll see you guys next time.